Hello, my name is Terence Calkins. I work for Arab Acoustics New York. I'd like to present some work that I've been doing on developing a multi-touch controller for the Sound Lab. The goal of this research is to give the Sound Lab an interactive design tool and encourage more collaboration with sound artists and designers from other professions, such as 3D visualization and lighting. The research has two main objectives. First, to conceive and develop a robust ergonomic sound lab interface on the iPad. Second, to create an authoring tool allowing the design of complex and layered 3D sound scenes from within a classical sequencer environment. The interface presents itself as a series of control screens that are navigated using named tabs at the top of the device. The first screen is devoted to controlling levels of the sound scene. The red fader on the left is a master fader. The eight yellow faders on the right are individual channel gain controls. The gains can be controlled one by one or in groups, much like a traditional mixing console. Each gain slider controls the level of a pre-recorded audio stream. This audio stream represents the sound emitted by a so-called virtual sound source. The virtual source is rendered or decoded over headphones or speakers through a process called spatialization. Through this process, the virtual source appears to be radiating from a fixed position in space, located in or around the listening room. The position of the virtual source can be controlled in real time using a source manipulation tab on the interface. The elevation of virtual sources is controlled via a slider manipulated using the left hand. Distance and azimuth are controlled using the right hand. In this way, the three-dimensional position of the source can be controlled with only two gestures. This mode of interaction is simple and intuitive enough that some ease in trajectory control can be achieved relatively quickly. Currently, one can spatialize up to eight simultaneous sources using the interface. It is important to note that the sound scene composition method is independent of the rendering format which means that any audio decoding method can be used, such as, for instance, vector-based amplitude panning, ambisonics, wave field synthesis, or binaural. The multi-touch interface communicates with the rendering system via a communication protocol called OSC, or Open Sound Control, which is a content format for messaging among computers. The interface also communicates in real time with an audio sequencer called Ableton Live via OSC. We are now listening to an excerpt of a binaural sound scene composed using the interface involving eight separate audio streams. Trajectories controlled in real time can be recorded on the fly as automation curves in live. Channels can be muted or soloed via the iPad interface to facilitate the composition process. Using Ableton's built-in automation editing tools, the user can fine-tune these trajectories during a post-processing phase. It is my intention that this tool will be used to facilitate and enrich the dialogue with sound artists and other creative clients going forward. I also hope that we will be able to start using this kind of tool to propose real-time navigation of 3D visualizations in the near future. If you have any questions about this, please email me at terrence.calkins at Thanks for listening.